Alright, so we are going to go over how to re-wick a Joytech E-Roll atomizer. Um, pretty simple. So the first thing I guess to do is your E-Roll. Got some liquid in there, so I'm going to pull it off upside down. Pop this sucker off. Alright, your atomizer is right here. So usually you can actually grab the tip of the wick right here and pull it out. So here's this is a, a piece of mesh that I've shoved in there. If you're having trouble doing that, you can actually leave it in the E-roll if you have a little pair of pliers. An easy thing you can do is you just keep wiggling here. Just keep wiggling. Eventually this little piece pops off. So I think that was hard to see. It might have held it off, but that sits in there. Alright, so it's back in there. Let me hold it in front here. A little, little bit of wiggling. Just keep wiggling it. Eventually it comes free. So if you can't get it from the top, you can pull it out from the bottom. Um, but if you can pull it out from the top, much better. You don't even have to take this thing apart. It does require just a tiny bit of force, but it's really not bad. Um, even, you know, anyone should be able to do this, I think. So, now I've got the atomizer with no wick in it. I was just using it, so it's a little wet. I'm just going to dry it off a little, make this easier for myself. Alright, so, here I've got some mesh. This is 325. I've kind of already figured out the best size to cut it. So I'm going to cut the little piece out, and I'm going to measure it for you guys. So it's 325 mesh, tape measure. Let's see if you can see this. Uh, this camera is difficult to work with. I'm on, it's on a tablet. so. But we're like, you know, about three quarters of an inch. Um, I have no idea what that is in metric for anyone that's not in America, so use Google. So I've got that little piece. You don't want to really roll it up too tight, so you don't have to worry too much about that. So just kind of try and start the roll. I kind of like keep rolling it around like that. And then once you get it rolled up once, you can kind of unroll it and get it a little bit tighter. You do not want it that tight, though, because it doesn't stay in there that well. So just try and get a nice, good roll. I've got a little bit of juice in my fingers, so I'm struggling with this a bit, but there we go. So got it rolled up nice here. And I know everyone goes crazy with how they prepare these wicks. They do all sorts of stuff to oxidize. Um, I've kind of gone through this. I've played with different stuff. I find it's perfectly fine to just take your good old thick lighter or any sort of flame and just sit there and cook it until it's nice and glowing red. And once it's glowing red, it's oxidized. So, now I have my oxidized wick. I'm going to take my little atomizer head just kind of work it in there. Push it all the way down until you hit the coil. Just gently. You just want to barely touch that coil. So you get it there. Once you've done that, just grab your scissors again. Cut it off at a nice little angle. So it's just sticking out just a little bit. I don't leave much sticking out. That's hard to see. Uh, there's like a there's a tiny bit of a hole in the center of the wick, but I find that it works fine. It doesn't really leak out or anything on me. And then you just throw the device back together. So I'll do that for you guys. So now you might want to see everything. And of course, push this down a little bit when I was wiggling it. There we go might want to take it out of the battery, unlike me, before you do that, because you can push this little sleeve down in. If you do, it's not a huge deal, like you saw, I just pulled it back out. And then, if I can find little dots, you get that in there nice. Put it back together, give it a little shake, get the juice down there. Small puffs to get it wicking.
so works great just a little mesh wick in there when yours burns up uh, I've actually had Addies that weren't really working for me anymore and did this to them and they started working great so I don't know what it is about the mesh wick but these devices love it um, I think you might want a thicker liquid to do that if the liquids really thin you might have to cut it a little longer than three quarters of an inch so it's a little bit tighter so it doesn't seep through as easily um, other than that that's the gist of it